The whole technical stack consists of three parts, HubSpot, starter subscription, Greenfi as a LinkedIn outreach automation tool, and NA10 to glue them together. Let's walk through them one by one. So, Greenfi, that's more or less standard LinkedIn outreach automation tool like many others. I have decided for it, first of all, because they have one of the best features for profile safety. Also, it is cost efficient and it has all of the necessary APIs and webhooks. So it all starts uh, from setting up sender profiles where you connect LinkedIn and Mailbox and you can create as many sender profiles as you want. Once you have those, uh, you create automated sequences. Just for the sake of example, I have created a very, very basic one. So for example, once the lead is added to this sequence, we are checking whether it is connected to the sender or not on LinkedIn. In case it is connected, uh, we send them a message, then we visit their profile, then we like their post, and then we send another message, let's say. And in case uh, they were not connected, we send them a connection request, wait 30 days, just giving them time to accept it. Once the connection request is accepted, it will fall into the right branch uh, of the workflow and we will send them a customized message where you can use multiple different variables and even create a custom ones if you need them and enrich them with uh, artificial intelligence. For example, if you want to come up with custom opener, those all of the things you can do. Um, and then we send them another message. Of course, we can also visit profile in between and do other stuff. In case uh, 30 days passed and there is still no connection request accepted, we will send them an email. That is a very, very basic flow. You can come up with much more sophisticated stuff. Um, so one workflow could take like one month or two months or even half a year if you need. Uh, basically, you are playing around here with uh, these basic events. Send connection request, withdraw connection request, send message, send email, visit profile, like latest post, comment latest post. That one feels a little bit dangerous to me, uh, but you can still use it. Uh, skill endorsement. At some moment, you can do even phone calls here. Uh, you can have these triggers like connection request accepted, message replied. Uh, and uh, yeah, for example, here um, when uh, connection request was not accepted, you tried to send an email, it was not uh, answered. Uh, you can, for example, send the lead to another sequence or change the sender profile and try to send them connection request again. Uh, you can play around with it. It's more a task for your sales. Uh, it's not a technical part. About the profile safety, uh, they use Go Login Browser. It is well integrated with GreenFee and they register it for you automatically. It is included in their price also. So what it does, it's like, um, it is exactly for to secure uh, your LinkedIn profile and you just have to follow one simple rule. Once you set it up, you, you access your LinkedIn profile only through Go Login or via your mobile application. So Go Login ensures that LinkedIn sees every interaction is coming from same browser, same session, and same location. And it doesn't matter whether it's you uh, playing around with LinkedIn or it is automation, sending connection requests, messages, uh, liking posts and doing all of those things which you programmed in a sequence. And the cool part for me as a developer is the webhooks. You see all of those events and whenever email is sent, connection request is sent, message sent, uh, email replied or message replied, it will call uh, an A10 workflow via this webhook and this is where we do the rest of the magic. So next, HubSpot. Here we have, uh, you don't need enterprise plan for it or anything more expensive than the most cheapest and basic version for 20, 25 bucks per month. And here it looks quite straightforward and simple. Uh, you have a field where you choose uh, to which sequence uh, this contact should be sent. You can select as many as you want. It will trigger an 8 workflow, add the lead to green fee, and 
uh, put it um, added into the sequence. Also, you have link to a green feed to see more details about uh, this profile. It's more like just in case. So here you can see all of the activities uh, which were happening in GreenFee. You can see LinkedIn activities, email activities separately. You can see automated tasks planned for this contact. You can see to which automations this contact was added and you can even leave notes. But I'm more fan of keeping all of the notes and all of the details within the HubSpot. So every critical information is being automatically syn synced uh, from GreenFee into HubSpot. And the best part, about this integration in HubSpot, you see, I can see all of the email messages history from LinkedIn here, right in a HubSpot. For years, I was looking for something like that, but there was no tool which was providing it. If you know such tool, please let me know. I'm, I'm really curious to learn about it. And actually, that trick you can use for also other things, like uh, for one of the customers, I was doing exactly the same trick to show in HubSpot uh, the folder structure and files from SharePoint with links to those files. And then the heart of the automation, it is syncing contacts and events and all of the necessary data between GreenFeed and HubSpot. And this is a perfect place to introduce AI where you need it. So here we have two major workflows. First one, is being triggered by a HubSpot. For example, when you select to which uh, sequence uh, lead should be sent, it will trigger this workflow, which will create lead in a green fee and add it to the sequence. Or for example, when some major contact uh, data is changed, like an email, which just automatically updated in a green fee. And the second workflow is the one which has been called by green fee so here you see all of these events they are exactly the same as these webhooks here because that's where, where it comes from and based on the event we trigger some custom steps uh, which more or less the same it's just about updating some data in hubspot uh, in some cases we create a task for the sdr and that's pretty much it and actualize uh, message history. Uh, that would be one of the best places to introduce AI. For example, if you struggle with too many replies, you can analyze each reply with LLM uh, to give it uh, a score, uh, like how, how valuable this reply is, and uh, define a priority for sales team. The other place where you could introduce artificial intelligence is, for example, when you send lead into the sequence, uh, you could use the information you have about the company to generate a custom opener, for example. Of course, artificial intelligence gives us much more possibilities here. It's all limited only by your creativity. And NA10 gives us the tool to implement it all. In general, that's pretty much it. Uh, there are also additional features like data enrichment and uh, contact search. So for example, in green fee, you can select list of companies to be enriched and then uh, you just hit the button and it will search for the uh, people who are working for this company and have uh, a title which you have defined. So for example, you are looking for chief technical officers. So you specify this as a filter and you give it a list of companies. It will look for CTOs from exactly these companies. And once it finds any of those, uh, it will again call this workflow and uh, NA10 will uh, create this lead in HubSpot or update if it already exists. So you will see those and from there on you could, for example, use uh, HubSpot enrichment feature to pull more information about that lead and uh, make a decision to which funnel to send it and then just send it for automated outreach. Uh, there is plenty of other possibilities here. Just let me know what you think about it in the comments. That would be nice. And in case uh, you would like to consider something like that for your company, just connect with me via LinkedIn or via my website, bpa.pro or here in the comments. And we will see how, how it can be adjusted exactly for your needs.